you know, they be forgetting about a girl sometimes, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. How y'all do that with them? I, I, I cannot do that okay thing. Occur like Cardi, Cardi B does. Like, I, my daughter does it really good. Like, I just can't get it. Like, am I not, like, cool? Like, occur. You gotta, like, like, you have to, like, roll your tongue. Occur. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat a little bit so I can try again. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Let me, let's just try this. Occur. Who knows? I don't know. But you, you guys know what I'm trying to say, okay? What's up, you guys? And I'm back. Hopefully, you guys don't hear those yapping dogs outside because they like barking like crazy. And my dog, Pancakers, well, she thinks she's about to be part of that barking crew outside. Little does she know I will close that balcony door. Right, Panny? I'm happy today because the makeup is going my way. Hopefully, I don't got to, like, glue or hairspray this wig down because I really don't want to. But I wanted to put this one out there for you guys because it's cheap, all right? It is super cheap. Listen. I got two cans of hairspray in my hand. Now, I did a documentary. I said a doc. A, it is a documentary, okay? On this bedhead because it was suggested to me by my subscribers. So, hey, girl. Hey. I actually really do like this. It does give a really good hold. It doesn't flake. And I actually really do like this, too. I like it a lot. I think, like, the day holds for this would probably be, like, a day or two longer than versus the got to be glam force because i'm going to do several videos today i'm going to save this one for the last video because i don't want to have to fight with it to be removed this one you know is a lot easier to be removed versus this one you could still you know they're still hairspray down but i'm going to use this one for this particular video i purchased a three can set from Amazon, from the actual Bedhead vendor. So Bedhead does sell on Amazon too. I got three cans for $25, girl. You cannot beat that because I've heard people say, you can get it for $20. Who the heck wants to pay $20 for a can of hairspray? Three cans for $25? If I forget to put the link down below, leave me a comment or send me an email. So best yeah. lace wigs. So I got an eight inch lace frontal. And girl, guess what? A damn, a fake scout for this cheap, like, Hello? It's a fake scalp? Came straight out the box like this. Let's just see what you get in the box. So your unit from Best Lace Wigs will come in their standard white box, which will state they are 100% human hair and an affordable price. It will also have a QR code, which you can scan and see different items on their website. You'll also be included a Best Lace Wigs brochure, which will tell you how to care for your wig. Along with that, the return policy. This is the unit, and as I stated, she is 8 inches in length. She is 100% human hair. She does have a fake scalp. The unit priced is for $39, and it is available in an average size wig cap. The hair is straight, and it comes straight out the package as so. The ends were not dead, they were not fried, and they were not frayed. They look really healthy in a very straight, blunt cut. The lace does appear to be a light brown lace. The unit has already been leached for you throughout the entire cap. I would think this lace was probably like either a light brown or a medium brown color. You can check out Base Lace Wigs. They have many more affordable units on their website. Along with this one right here for $39, you cannot beat this price. So, I know you did not just bark, girl. No, you did not. You best to sit your little white butt down on the floor and behave yourself. Don't show out for the video. You see, I'm trying to do something. You go tell your little friends out there they need to be quiet. 
I'm gonna just close the balcony door. So this is an eight inch straight lace front bob wig. You do get the combs in it. You do get the combs in the back and the adjustable strap. You don't have to do anything. This is a do nothing at all wig, which I like to do nothing at all. We're gonna see how it looks. And they did sew it in really good. The hairline is thinned out for you. It is bleached entirely through the lace. There's no elastic band. You ain't getting no elastic band. Already cheap. You get what you get and don't make a fit. Who don't want a $39, $35, $30 something dollar lace wig that's human hair and got a fake scalp to it? Hop on it, hop on it, girl, hop on it. It's cut and layered because it is a short bob. The first thing that you definitely want to do prior to applying a wig or at least trying to apply a wig is take off your scarf, girl. Get you like a wet cloth or something and make sure that you re uh, remove the makeup that's on your hairline because if you don't, the wig is definitely not gonna stick. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look flattering at all, like that line of demarcation. This looks like my makeup don't match and it really actually does match. Gap that in a little bit here. I'm gonna listen to some good old music. The song of the day is going to be Red Man. You guys don't know who Red Man is? Y'all just a little bit too young. I don't know about the rap music today. I can't really relate to that. We're about to just get into this. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this lace wig. So the cool thing about it is it's a fake scalp and it's only $39.95 or $39.99. That was the happy dance. So for one, it did come pre-parted in the middle. I'm not like a huge fan of the middle parts because my head is just long. So I'm definitely going to change it in this video. But before that, I'm just going to take my clips and I'm just going to clip the hair back. The hairline is kind of thick for one. And I did honestly forget to tweeze the hairline. I actually put it to review and I thought that I didn't need to. So, you know, good thing it's a bob and I won't be pulling it back because it's only eight inches. But, you know, you will need to tweeze the hairline if you want it a little bit thinner. So I'm just gonna take my small curved scissors and just cut away at the hairline. Now, because the wig cap is standard size, which is for an average size head, some of the companies will have lace that will overlap your ear you will take you will need to take your rat tail comb and just part over your ear you want to try to go over the curve of your ear so that way it's not so blunt straight and then you can just cut off that excess lace and that way your wig will fit properly it'll lay flat and it'll be a lot more comfortable so i'm just cutting away some of the lace and luckily i didn't have to cut any of the fake scalp hot part of it so the fake scalp is sewn really well um, it's a different type of fabric. I wouldn't say it was nylon, so I don't think that the material will run. It is 140% density. It's Indian Remy hair, eight inches, and the lace is in the color of a light brown, and it's a 13 by six. So you do get plenty of parting with the unit. It does not come with any elastic bands, so you will need to sew one in because this unit fit a little bit big on me, but you know, for those of you guys who have like a lot of hair and stuff, you can definitely just tweak it to your liking. So I decided to spray the hairspray on the inside of the cap along with that on the outside and I'm just going to press it dry. I really did want to actually put this unit on without having to spray it down, but because I didn't realize I didn't tweeze it or put a... Uh, you know, an elastic band in it. It was a little bit too loose, so that's the reason why I was I'm hairspraying it down. So I'm just going to take my sideburn hairs and I'm just going to cut them to the length that I like. This is just an optional step. But the hair is silky straight, you know, it does seem to actually you know, style easy. It's a nice density. Now it's time to style this bad boy up. So for $39.99, girl, you get you a nice wig. You can bleach it if you want, you know, or add color to it, lighten it, you know, all that good stuff. I'm gonna just use my wax stick and my hot comb. Hot comb died, okay? My hot comb died on me, so now I have to get another one. But listen, I had to do like a little woosah in the beginning because hot combs kind of scare me. So you wanna be extra careful when using heat. 
onto yourself with a hot comb. I normally do this on a mannequin head, so that way I'm not too scared. But right here is where it got a little bit too nerve wracking for me. So that's the reason why I put my comb. I was trying to save my skin or, you know, just, I just was trying to save myself basically. I'm just trying to find a little bit of hairs just to make me a couple of little baby hairs in the front so that way I can kind of like hide the hairline. So yeah, I do think it would be great to just put an elastic band in this. And I'm just going to use my pressed powder because the lace wasn't exactly a dead on match or basically the fake scalp. But, you know, you can tweak them to your your desired, you know, your desired want or look. You know you have to get a beauty guru pose up in there, but I think she's rather cute for $39. Okay, you guys. Okay. Okay, let me tell y'all, hunties. Girl, listen. You know, the wig is cheap, honey. Don't expect the wig to come kind of like customized to your head, girl. Like as soon as you pull it out the box. I didn't do anything to the wig. I didn't pluck it. I didn't do anything. I honestly forgot to pluck the sides, to be honest. It is a little bit thick to me on the sides, but it's 30 something dollars. So, you know what I'm saying? Get your tweezers out, girl, and just tweeze away. So, I honestly, I forgot to pluck it. I put it, <clears throat> excuse me, girl. Mm. I put it with the wigs that I was going to review because I honestly thought that it was good to go. But now that I see it, I just, I did forget. But I was like, you know what? It's the bob. I'm not really going to pull it up. So I don't really care. It's a little bit too big for my head. Like, no, my brain did not shrink. I'm still smart as ever, girl. But it's a little bit too big. Like, I have the hooks crossed over to the end. This would have really needed a, an elastic band. I don't know what else that'd be on it. Pop it! If it had an elastic band. It's definitely big head friendly. For those of you guys who got like this big head because you guys probably got like a lot of hair or you probably are like geniuses, super duper smart. That's why I have a long head because I need like a lot of room for the brain that I have. You see what I'm saying? You got it. If you got like an average head or above, girl, you good. Like you definitely good. Listen, for 30 something dollars, this is damn decent. And you know something? When you get a wig that's 30 something dollars and it's virgin human hair, girl, and it's got a fake scalp, jump on it. Like, jump on it, honey. But if you want to thin it out, then I would say go ahead. And I would definitely say put an elastic band in this unit so that way it can fit properly, okay? Because it was a little bit too big for me. But I'm not going to complain because for 30 something dollars, this is better than a synthetic wig by far. But check out Best Lace Wigs. They got some bomb ass wigs, you guys. And on that note, I gotta go. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this, girl. Just share the video with your grandma because she probably like a short little wig like this, the eight inches for 30 some dollars. I know your grandma will love it, girl. I'm just saying. I love you guys. Bye. Deuces.